How's it going folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a guide on how to install logo packs for FM22. Of course the new football manager has just dropped and we have a whole wave of content coming your way on the channel. Make sure to check it all out after you've done watching this video. Written instructions can be found down in the description as well and I'm not going to keep you around. Let's get into this. So for this video, I am going to be showing you how to download the TCM logo pack. This is the logo pack that I use myself. For people not familiar, just I guess a brief introduction, a logo pack is essentially what it says on the tin. It adds logos for teams, national FAs and league competitions and I suppose cup competitions in Football Manager that aren't normally available in the game. Uh, usually, you know, unlicensed leagues and such have kind of generic logos. Logo packs allow you to have all the real logos put into the game. So yes, TCM 21 is the one I'm going to be showing today. It hasn't had an FM 22 update just yet. When that happens, there will be a new link down below uh, but for now I'm going to link this one of course you can choose to download any logo pack you want there are a few different options out there this is the one that I happen to use I also think it's the best so you're going to go to the link down below there are some written instructions on the website but if you go all the way down to the bottom here you'll find the download links we are going to download the entire mega pack so TCM 21 mega pack download this is then going to take us to a sub download page and there's a link to download it from mega upload media fire or up to box so a few different options for where to download from media fire is the site i normally download bits from so you click on the media fire link you can just click download and uh, it's going to start downloading i uh, i've already downloaded it so we're just going to hit cancel there but you're going to want to wait for that to download it's only 2.5 gigabytes so if you've done the face pack which we've already covered in a video it's not going to be quite as long as that one and uh, yeah i will join you in just a moment once this has finished downloading so for this next step, you're going to want to take the zip file you've just downloaded, be that the TCM zip pack or a different logo pack, and you're going to need to find your Football Manager 2022 graphics folder. Now, on Windows by default, that is at Users, Jack, Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2021 or 22 rather, and then graphics. Uh, if you don't have a graphics folder, you just need to create a new folder um, and then once you've got a graphics folder, you're going to want to paste in the zip file, um, which I'm going to assume you're doing now. Um, worth noting on Mac, this location is slightly different. Additionally, there will be written instructions down in the description. So if you want to follow those, if you want to get all the necessary links for all the different bits, you can do that there. The next step is to unzip this TCM file. You are going to need to have WinRAR or some kind of other unarchiving software. Essentially, a zip file allows a folder full of images, in this case, to be bundled into a singular file you can download. Uh, there will be a guide for downloading and installing WinRAR down below. If you've already done the face pack video, you've already got this all set up. Up. But anyway, once you've got WinRAR installed, you're going to want to right click on the zip file or the WinRAR archive file and then hit extract here. Uh, this is then going to basically unzip the contents of the downloaded folder uh, into a folder with all the logo packs and such in. Uh, this might take a couple of minutes just because it is, you know, a decent chunk of images. It's all the different logos installed. Uh, and uh, I'll join you in just a moment once this has finished. So once you've unzipped the file, you'll have a folder called TCM Mega Pack in here in a graphics folder. You'll have all the different logos all nicely loaded. So if you want all the, the I don't know, the Burundi clubs, look, they've, they've all got their logos. Yeah, you can see how deep this logo pack goes. It has logos for absolutely everywhere. Um, worth noting that once you finish downloading it, you can just delete the zip file uh, that already exists. We no longer need that because the contents now exist in a folder. Uh, and once you've done all of that, we are done here. We have one final step to do. Uh, so let's hop in Football Manager to finish off this job, shall we? Anyway, once you've got the logo pack folder installed into your Football Manager 2022 graphics folder, we're going to go in game and we're going to do the final step. And that step is simply to go to preferences, go to the bottom left and click clear cache. Hit yes if you get this pop up and then hit reload skin. At this point, the game is basically going to rescan the graphics folder for anything that's just been added in since it was last loaded. And once you've done this and once it's finished loading the data for the new skin, uh, we're going to load up a save game. And uh, hey presto, your logos will be installed. Anyway, now that we've cleared our cache, we've loaded up a save game. This will apply to save games you've already got going and uh, have started. Um, we've got Real Madrid's logo, we've got Man City's logo, we've got Juventus's logo, and uh, in the coming days, I will have a real name fix. So if you don't want Zebra 
in your game. Uh, stick around to the channel. We'll have more on that soon. What I would say is if you've got to this step and the logos aren't showing in game for whatever reason, you have made a mistake somewhere. Please go down to the description Follow the steps, rewatch the video. Uh, I will attempt to offer technical support, but it is very difficult. If you leave a comment that just says, doesn't work, um, that makes it quite difficult to figure out what's wrong. But fingers crossed, touch wood, if you've done everything correctly, it will work flawlessly. And you'll have all the logos in your Football Manager save games. Anyway, folks, I hope this video was useful. If you enjoyed it, if it was useful, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your mum, dad, sister, grandma, granddad, anyone who's playing Football Manager 22, which should be everyone about this video, and they can get their logo pack sorted too. And well, until next time, thank you for watching as always. It is me, Jack, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. Forgot my own intro there for a second. What is happening?